welcome to another colouring review from Colour with Claire. Today I'm reviewing Legendary Horrors 24 postcards to colour. Now these postcards are from the same guys who created Legendary Landscapes and Legendary Worlds, which are the two massive format, very quality uh, produced colouring books that I have reviewed on my blog and that you've probably seen all over the colouring blogs because they are brilliant. So same people made these, uh, based in Canada, and that is where these will ship from, but they do ship worldwide, and I'll give you info about that in a moment. So as we open this slipcase, we've got the copyright information. We've got a little note with some advice on what media best to use on these postcards. And when we open up, there's uh, some information about the three artists who worked on these postcards. Now, the postcards themselves are completely independent of this little slip cover. And as you can see, there is a full colour postcard design there. And on the back, we've just got the thumbnails of some of the postcards. So a nice little insert to have there for, to put your postcards in so that they don't get you know, dirty or you can just put them on the shelf in this slip. So the postcards themselves. Here we've got a skull, which is sort of half skull, half haunted house. We've got a guy that's plugged into all sorts of wires. He's got four eyes and his heart's out and it's all gross. <laughs> Here we've got some guys in gas masks with brains out. We've got Cannibal Cafe here and some really freaky looking person that's got a mouth as her entire face. So with these postcards, there's obviously quite a lot of detail on them and it does take a few moments to sort of look at it and take it all in. There'll probably be things as you're colouring that you only notice when you get to them. It's that kind of really detailed work. I think that's it, yeah. So this next one is a portrait uh, orientation and it, what is it? It looks to me like some sort of insect and God knows what this is anyway it's spooky <laughs> here we've got some sort of triffid style plants with big jaws these postcards are really super thick by the way like really thick you can use alcohol markers on them and they may shadow slightly on the reverse but as long as you're not actually sending them to anyone you're just doing them as, a, as a, a design piece then it should be fine so this one uh, it's looking like a skull in a graveyard this giant skull with sort of freaky wool looking hair <laughs> so these designs really are unique you're not going to find them anywhere else um, or anything like it so here we've got this weird brain sort of Mars attacks type creatures with these weird sort of crying ghosts here we've got a bit more of a obvious one so we've got a wolf with a geometric design and a hand just reaching out here we've got a spider or uh, tarantula type thing with lots of rats around it rabid rats so i guess i know what they're having for their dinner and again we've got another rat design here we've got a, a uh, dog that looks like it's infested with the rabies or it's got some kind of vampire come back from the dead disease <laughs> and here again it's a sort of wolf design with some geometric lines around here looks like a mer creature some sort of underwater creature so they've got webbed fingers they've got um, horns and across their back as well in this sort of cave full of stalagmites and stalactites this one we've got a lady that's literally just got a torso and that's it made of bones and some fish so I'm guessing this is an underwater scene as well and then we've got one of these fish with the light bulbs on the head made famous probably by Finding Nemo here we've got a lady holding her cat who is sort of alien-esque got something over her face with a uh, legs coming out protruding out everywhere so a bit like alien here we've got a man's body with a stag's head and sort of decorative ribbon around it 
here looks a bit witchcrafty so we've got two uh, ladies here who have pentagrams and all sorts of uh, pagan symbols with sort of oh this one's got a handbag of a skull that's quite interesting you won't find that in top shop and here's one that I've completed with alcohol markers. So this was just a woman and a man in their home uh, just dining on someone's fresh severed head. Uh, so I decided to make this into sort of a Harley Quinn and Joker uh, in their 40s type of picture. So this is what might happen uh, when they're a bit more grown up, they've got a home, living in the countryside, still got his purple suit on, still got a red and blue hair, but you know, they're just munching away on decapitated head there. Oh, and as you can see, the alcohol markers actually haven't shadowed on this one. Uh, I didn't colour it particularly with a heavy pressure, so maybe that's why, but um, I certainly think absolutely brilliant quality. I mean, alcohol markers soak through everything, so to say that there's not even a patch on this just is a testament to the quality. And here we've got a freaky babies. This, this is, I guess, is going to say Neverland, and it's all crumbled down. We've got babies everywhere. Uh, and it's just sort of really freaky. This one is an abstract picture of sort of, it looks like a Chinese style person with a knife going through their face. And that is it, that is the last postcard. So as you can see, this is what's on the back, room for address and stamp and the little Colourworth brand name there. So yes, as I said, alcohol markers, I thought they would shadow a little bit and they actually didn't but obviously it depends on the type of pressure and how many layers you're going to use because it will eventually soak through but as you can see absolutely nothing so this has been a review of legendary horrors 24 postcards to colour and they will cost you let's see $11.95 in the US and you can find those on Amazon all the links are going to be in the description below and if you're living in the UK Including shipping to the UK, it's going to cost you just over £13, so that is including shipping. And I'll put the link to buy on the Colourworth website below. So I hope you've enjoyed looking through these grotesque postcards, and I'll see you soon on Colour with Claire. <laughs>